Hi everyone. Let's take a look at number fourteen on page three seventy. Dave wants to cross a two hundred meter wide river whose current flows at five point five meters per second. The marina he wants to visit is located at an angle of south forty five degrees west from his starting position. Dave can pedal his canoe at four meters per second in still water. A. In which direction should he head to get to the marina? B. How long would the trip take? Step one. Draw a diagram. If you read the first sentence carefully, there is a、uh, river that is two hundred meters wide. So two hundred meters wide. The current is flowing at five point five meters per second.、Uh, Dave is going to be somewhere here. So let's draw a point. This is the location of Dave. And. He would like to go south, forty-five degrees west, from his starting point. So Dave is here. His goal is to go south, forty-five degrees west. So from here, all the way to here. Let's draw an arrow. Now this is going to be forty-five degrees, and likewise, that's going to be forty-five degrees. Now, if you go back to the first part,、uh, the current is going to be five point five meters per second. Now, at the same time, Dave can pedal at four meters per second. So, the most important part is understanding that the diagram should form an acute triangle. Meaning, if you look at the current, it's five point five meters per second. So, it's going to head downstream at five point five meters per second. Let's label this. Now, if we go back for a moment, the fact that Dave can only move at four meters per second, it wouldn't make sense if you're drawing the、uh, arrow or the vector straight to the left or somewhere downstream, because the goal is to move south forty-five degrees west, and the fact that the current is faster than Dave's、uh, speed, he should be aiming upstream at some angle, right? So again. What you're really looking for is angle alpha. It says in what、uh, direction or in which direction、uh, should he head to get to the marina. So this is the angle you're looking for. And before you can find alpha, first you have to solve for theta. Again, let's write down four meters per second, just like that. So in part A, the first step is to apply the sine law, sine theta, divided by five point five. Equals to sine of forty-five degrees divided by four. And again, you can take your calculator. Make sure you're in degree mode. If you round this to one decimal place, theta is going to be seventy-six point five degrees. Seventy-six point five degrees. To find alpha, though, you have to remember that a straight line will add up to one hundred and eighty degrees, which means to find alpha. You take one hundred and eighty minus seventy six point five degrees minus forty five degrees. So to one decimal place, alpha is going to be fifty eight point five degrees. So in a final statement, you can write down on your own. He should be heading fifty eight point five degrees upstream. Now in part B, they're asking how long would the trip take. So again, how long means you want to find time, and you can think of time in two different ways. Time could be thought of as velocity, uh, sorry, uh, displacement divided by velocity, or distance divided by speed. Now, if you go back to the beginning,、uh, Dave wants to cross a two hundred meter wide、uh, river. So, it's given that the fact that the distance is going to be two hundred meters. Now. He's crossing 200 meters, which means when you break this down to components, you're focusing on the horizontal component. That is, even though Dave is aiming there, right? The component that you're thinking about is the horizontal component. There's the horizontal, there's the vertical, and if you think about this vector, this is also going to be the same component. Let's add the angle back in. We found 58. Point five degrees for alpha. I'm going to draw this one more time. So if you think about this right angle triangle, 
what you're really doing is this, right? This is the arrow going to the left. This is going up. This angle is 55 point or 58.5 degrees. He's moving at 4 meters per second. So if you think about the vertical component, let's call this V, subscript X. Uh, using grade 10 academic math, um, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which means the horizontal component is going to be 4 times sine of 58.5 degrees. So you take that number, you plug it back in, and again, you can work this out uh, to one decimal place, and time equals to approximately 58.6 seconds. Again, you can write that down a final statement on your own. And this is how you do number 14. I hope this makes sense.